In my consultations, I often get frustrated on behalf of the people I'm trying to help from all over the world. I listen to them tell me about years of hopping from one practitioner to another and all their personal stories. What's so obvious to me is apparently not so obvious to others. There are many instances where I just shake my head because I know the chosen therapy, not the fault of the patient, is not addressing the root cause. As I often say, they're just plugging holes in a dike as new ones spring up. I want to replace the dike. Let me give you some examples. I work with a number of high histamine people. Among the many supplements and some drugs they take, they are often on some type of histamine blocker. This is best illustrated by the so-called mast cell stabilizers. Although if you listen to these people, I think their mast cells are anything but stabilized. The goal should not be for these patients to be on these products for years as they at best say the same and in all likelihood get worse. The goal should be to address the root cause of the hypervigilant immune system. I don't know why this seems so impossible to grasp to some practitioners. I also work with many people who are constipated, a huge number really. Actually, many of the high histamine people we just covered also have constipation, as do Parkinson's patients and many others. Every week I hear of magnesium citrate, magnesium oxide, enemas, and more things from these poor people. These very layman's ways of addressing constipation are in no way addressing the cause. If you've been on these for years and your practitioner is okay with that, then it's time to find a new practitioner because if they can't help you do something as basic as go to the bathroom, then, well, it's your fault for sticking with them. And speaking of basic bodily functions, let's talk about another, sleep. Now, there is the occasional loss of sleep due to stress. Okay, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who tell me that they haven't slept well for years. And these people are either recommended some type of prescription to get them sleeping, or a natural medicine product like melatonin, L-theanine, CBD, and the list goes on. Again, this is a basic function that almost all of us can do just fine. And those who can't did at one point. Do you honestly think that drugs and natural products are addressing the root cause? Of course not. If your practitioner can't identify and resolve the root cause, then perhaps it's time to find someone who can. Just a brief pause here in the presentation. If you could just hit like and subscribe, it would really help this channel out. And speaking of neuroinflammation, there is a long list of other products to address clarity of thought, or said another way to improve brain fog. These include a number of herbs, phosphatidylserine, and other products. I actually just released a short video on brain fog. I also have videos on Parkinson's disease, dementia, anxiety, and depression. What do all these have in common? Brain inflammation. Watch the videos and you'll learn more information that you'll find nowhere else. How about instead of plugging holes in the dike, we address the root cause of the brain inflammation? I make that case in my well-referenced videos. And we can continue whether it's blood sugar, blood pressure, erectile dysfunction, cholesterol, or pain slash inflammation. I see it all. The microbiome plays an enormous role in these conditions. And I work with people all the time who are taking a number of supplements. They often mention fish oil, for example. And I ask, is it helping? Because you're here talking with me. And they say something like, I don't know, I think so, I hope so. I usually wind up recommending the discontinuation of as many products as I suggest. Sadly, natural medicine in many instances has fallen into the same treat the symptoms camp as conventional medicine. That's not the purpose of a holistic approach. The goal of natural slash functional slash integrative medicine should be to address the root cause. Whether you've been working with a less than talented practitioner 
or reading from questionable sources online, I see these errors all of the time. My goal is to get you better as quickly as possible. There are a lot of things that I do differently. My philosophy is based on the science, and I get great results most of the time. And think about it. I'm working with people who are at the end of the rope after years of spinning their wheels with a number of other practitioners. So many of my people are the toughest of the tough, and they're often happy within one to three weeks. Let me end with an example of yet another aspect where natural and conventional medicine now sadly overlap. In conventional medicine, the use of antibiotics is the trigger that sets off a long series of brutal events, starting with driving dysbiosis in the microbiome. The philosophy is to kill, kill, kill. In natural medicine, there exists the same philosophy with the use of oregano oil, berberines, neem, and the list goes on and on. Now let's take SIBO for example. SIBO is my most popular protocol and I hear the word SIBO many, many times in my consultations. Now, do you really think that rifaximin or a natural product are going to selectively and successfully kill all the bad actors and change the environment for the better? Maybe briefly, but not long term. I hear this scenario all of the time. If you're going to use these things, the goal should be to at the very same time address the dysfunction within the microbiome. We're not going to outsmart hundreds of millions of years of microbial evolution. We should not be that arrogant. What we can do is provide the health promoters with what they need to do what they do and change and manage the microbiome for us. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. And I will say that uh, basically every single day on my YouTube comments and in emails, I get a lot of thanks from people out there who really appreciate the information I've been sharing. And so part of that is you're welcome. The other part is you can contribute by uh, doing clicking on the super thanks below. And if you're not uh, doing a consultation with me and you're not purchasing any protocols, it's a great way to support this channel. Uh, each presentation, depending on you know, the presentation, uh, but most of them take an incredible amount of time to put together. There's a lot of material. There's a lot of data checking. And so it's just, it's just, you know, sometimes 50, 60, 70 hours to put together one presentation. And so if you can just click that super thanks, I'd appreciate that. And we'll keep the information coming.